Put it on the ceiling. Bam! Like that. Just like that. Oh, man, was that a whack. It was a jack whack, I think. This is Addictive Fishing. For the next 30 minutes, you'll see why fishing is so addictive. We'll show you the most awesome rod bending, drag screaming action. What a screamer. So hang on to your seats for this week's journey on Addictive Fishing. Welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We just pulled up to the spot. We're down on Marco Island. We're with Captain Bob Hartwell. We're supposed to be going offshore today, but we just. <laughs> As you can see, the wind's really kicking. We just pulled up to the spot, and he said, well, let's just try the spot and see if we get something to eat. And not more than three seconds, I had this thing in the water, about a 20-pound tarpon looked like, just swallowed it up. And there he is. Nice fish. <laughs> nice little fish. Just, you just can't go wrong in Marco Island, I tell you. Whether, if you get blown offshore like we did today, Come back in the back country and just have a ball with a bunch of bunch of little fish. You got him? Uh, yeah. Let me grab him if you want to. Here, I'll, I'll grab Here, him. You want. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this guy. Okay. Now the last one, last one that was close to the boat was a giant. He's right in the top of the lip. Get this guy. Yeah. Little tarpoon in the back country in Marco Island. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. The current keeps this bank up here undermined, and it creates a little cavern, a little cave up underneath the mangroves there. And uh, those fish will just be laying up in there thick. And there'll be anything in there from grouper, snapper, jewfish, snook. There he is. A snapper. Jewfish. Little, little jewfish. <laughs> Now, this is something we don't have up around where we're at, you know, and in any, any abundance. I've caught a couple up around Hallover Canal going into Mosquito Lagoon. But, uh, yeah, a little circle hook got him right in the corner of the mouth, just like it should. What a, what a killer looking little fish. And these things are just getting to be a. Ooh, ah, there he goes. And these, those jewfish are just getting to be abundant all over the place now, aren't they? I know they had that. Oh, yeah. They still got the moratorium on where you can't catch them anymore, or yep. you can't keep them anymore. Right, and they're, they're multiplying so fast, especially back here in the backwater. Um, you know, in these estuaries, uh, they'll stay back in here until they uh, run out of food and run out of area to live in, and then they'll start moving out front to the reefs and the wrecks, and they'll dominate the reefs and the wrecks. There won't be any other fish on there except the jewfish. Yeah, you see them pilchards up in there? Oh, God, this guy's just spinning circles way back up underneath there. He's still got the hook in. This guy's going to get eaten. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, we got to get him out of there. Is it? Louie's not coming up like a, like a snook. It's a little oh, nice grouper. They gotta be nice what size grouper. to keep? 22 inches in, in Collier County. Uh, he's close, but uh, we'll let this guy nice go. Nice fish. Nice fish. A little grouper. Nice little fish. Little jewfish, a little grouper. Yeah, these grouper will lay in here and they'll be bunched up in here because this bank is undermined. Yeah. And uh, you can sit in here and catch them all day long and they'll range inside. In uh, size, probably the biggest one I've ever caught out of here is about 26 inches. God, these are such pretty little fish. They look like a bass, you know? Yeah. That's what I always thought they were. I'm gonna let this guy go here. Well, let's get in and get another one. All right, man. There's I'm ready for, in there. I'm ready for another one of them. I mean, a group of sandwich tonight at, uh, what, the Snook Inn there? Snook Inn, yeah. They'll cook it up for you? Sure. Cool. I got a real nervous bait here. Ah. Don't. What the heck you got on there? I don't know. 
Kind of feeling like a jack, though. See, that ain't got the traditional jack run, does it? That's a good one. It's a pretty decent fish. I can't even budge him. <laughs> what the heck is it? He's got me instead of me having him. Be anxious to see what that one is. Because he's running against the current, isn't he? Yeah. He's headed back in now. Big Jack. Holy cow. What did you do, get a look at you then? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're playing with the Jack, so I'm gonna get a snook. Get him. Nice, Jack. Yeah, that's a nice one here. You want me to hold a rod? I got it. Can I get a rod? Okay. Got him. What a fish. Nice fish. Big boy. He swallowed that one, didn't he? Yeah, I think I can get it then. Say, ah. Uh, you get it? Yep. All right. I'll tell you, this thing is the greatest thing in the world. Captain Harry's eyes, that's where you get him? Yeah. yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. You need a couple snook this size, though. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, this guy is screaming. You're fixing to also, uh oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> How far are we back in the uh, park right now? This river that we're in now is the Lopez River. Lopez. And, uh, and we're working our way up toward the Broad River. And what we are, what we're gonna do is fish the mouth of the Broad. There he is. Man, that didn't take long. Nice fish, too. <laughs> that take long or what? That thing no more than hit the water. I thought it was the bait going away from it. Go ahead and let this little dude go. He's done. Let him go grow up and be a muggin someday. Snook, just snook. What time of year do you like the best, Bob? April, May, and June. Springtime, everything starts to turn on. The fish get real aggressive. They start moving around. The bigger fish move in. Dude, you got some serious horse flies here. Sound like airplanes buzzing around your head. There he is. Freight train, baby. Oh, come on now. Get him, Blair, get him. <sighs> come on out, baby. I got the trolling motor. I'm going to crank you out of the way from the bushes. All right, go. Oh, man, that's a nice fish. There you come out. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. God, you got to love it. Nice windy 30, 40 mile an hour winds blowing and we're catching oh, nice yeah. snook. Nice snook. He's done. Whew. Man, chock full of excitement, man. Here he comes. All right, grab okay. my rod. Got it. Coming to you. Watch that gill plate. I got him. Nice snook on a 30 mile an hour wind day. Hook. Show him to you. Oh, yeah, pretty fish. Chuck a lusky. Pretty fish. See how this fish is a little darker than the other ones that we caught through the top there? Yeah, he's been he's here. He's been here in the backwater. Definitely been here for a while. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go. Look at him. Watch him kick. Come on, kick. There okay. he goes. There he goes. Got that pileated woodpecker back in there. Pigeon. Got him? Yep. All right. Redfish. Well, I love the sound of that drag squealing. Yeah, I like those fenors too, just for that, just for that drag. The clients really like it. 
So if you want to get your drag screaming, <laughs> give Bob Hartwell a call at Daily Habit Fishing Charters. He gets you addicted. Oh, come on! I think that redfish has been here before. <laughs> He's got to be getting tired. I've got a lot of pressure on him. There he comes. He's coming out now. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice redfish. Nice redfish. That's a real good size red for down here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've been hitting them pretty good. We've been hitting them about 26, 27. He looks like he's about 33, 34 inches. Uh, yeah. Yep. Pretty good fish. Real nice red. It's the biggest red I've ever seen come out of down here. Just a pulling. Just a bull red. Yeah. I'm going to get up on that trolling motor and then I'll come back and land him for you. Okay. And he's definitely about ready. Yeah. Let me get his pointed in here in the wind and I'll jump back there and. Okay. All right, is he ready to land? He's ready. Nice fish, real nice fish. Get him just from right there. All right, let's see if we get this hook out of here and let this little guy go. Nice fish though. Look at that fish. Real nice Red fish, fish. look at his tail kind of lit up green. I love it when they do that. Ah, oh, so pretty. You gotta love it. 30 mile an hour offshore breeze. Yeah. And we are in the back country just waylaying some fish. Let's get this Good guy job. revived. And there he goes. Nice Man. fish. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. That was a that was another good one. species yep. in Marco Island. Yeah, now there should be a bunch more along here, and we should be hitting some snook along here too. There he is. Oh, it's a jack. A jack, brother. <laughs> what do you got, a snook or a jack? Jack. <laughs> Man, just as we're like, hey, let's go try the other corner. <laughs> let's go try the other corner. Wham, wham. <laughs> Bro, this guy is screaming. Here's a fish to also, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Where are you at? You step over, you go. Here. Here. Let me just come around. This guy is just taking off. Oh, you're gonna get me underneath there. See how this power pro works. I gotta pull you up this way. Oh! He's underneath the bank. Man, is he underneath the bank. So is this guy. There he yours is. Man, is he up underneath that bank. This guy, this guy got me in the log right here. I can yeah, I'm in a log, log too. Here. How are you doing? Not good, yours is right here. That's yours. I'm, I'm done. Oh well. I'm just right now stopping the big old jacks. We'll be right back after these messages. Oh, golly, no. Man, I was not ready for that. You know, I, I grew up down around Cocoa Beach, Bob, doing about the same thing we're doing now. And I know a lot of people, you know, you tell them you're gonna fish with live bait and they think you're gonna sit there with a bobber. Uh-huh. With a shrimp underneath and just sit there and wait on a fish. But as you can see, we're, what we're doing, we're just going down the shoreline here real slow and just pitching these baits up in there. And I like to kind of keep them up to the top and just twitch them. You almost work them like, they're, like they would be a lure. But uh, if you can see it, as you can toss it out there, get it right next to the bank just start twitching it back and I mean right when it hits if you start twitching it right away it'll usually bring a strike if there's one sitting there and it startles him or it startles him or something and he sees it and he'll jump right on it. There he is. 
see if his brother's in there. His big brother. Come on, big brother, you in there. Nice fish. Well, I tell you, these eagle, eagle claw hooks work pretty good. Yeah, they do. Once it's in, they don't pretty come fish. out. Oh, good cast. Yeah, you just gotta love this wind, huh? He's on. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I tell you? <laughs> How many does that make now? I don't know. Hell, I lost count a long time ago. There's another There's one. There's another one. All right, that one's got a little better size there, I think. What you got there, Bob? Another snook. Nice little snook. You're getting a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more water comes in and the fish will get bigger. That's nice, that's nice. Let me show you all what we're using here today. Bob went out this morning before he met us and went out and netted a bunch of these little pilchards. Call them white bait on the west coast? Well, yeah, white bait or big eyes. But he uh, says they really don't come down this area too much. And so when they see these, there's a lot of finger mullet around in the area, but when they see these pilchards, like I said once before, they smell like watermelons. But uh, once they see these pilchards, it's like candy to them. And they, you know, you're seeing what they're doing to them. They are just slurping them up. Just got a little 40-pound uh, leader using 10-pound Power Pro. Little six and a half, seven foot rod. That's all you need. Come pitch underneath these mangroves and uh, catch you a bunch of snook. Oh, that golly dog. Man, I was not ready for that. Nice one. <laughs> They're all nice when they surprise you like that. There we go. Yeah. Little air time there. Oh, this guy just got here. He's, his fins are still almost clear. Oh, you see him, man. Nice little fish. Those pilchards, a pack of wallets. That's the ticket, huh? There he is. Little snook. Nice fish. And Chukaluski. He's, well, he's kind of dark, but look at his fins. Yeah. Snook, skinny snook. Nice little fish. He's gonna suck on my thumb for me. There he goes. There he is. Oh yeah, it looks like a nice one. Oh. Oh, he's in the damn trees. All right, you got him. <laughs> there he goes. Hello, baby. Man, he hit right where that other one was. You know that? Yeah. You're done. Done, done, done. The old snug hold on him. where you put that snook hold on them right there and yep. a lot of times they just stop. Nice fish. <sighs> there we go. Real nice fish. Another Chuckalusky snook. Man, they are so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Nice fish. We'll see you later, buddy. Get out of here. Good job, Blair. There he goes. Hey, Bob. Man, I appreciate it. <laughs> Definitely appreciate this. Hey, y'all want to come see a good part of Chuckalusky, Naples, Marco Island area? Give Bob Hartwell a call. Daily Habit Fishing Charters. It definitely gets you addicted to fishing and show you part of the Everglades you've never seen before. We'll see you next week. Right there, right there, right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. There he is. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like to get your finger in there? Oh, what?